Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do Frank Frazetta's Dawn Attack by Opus Comics, issue number one. Uh, yeah, this is a, another Frank Frazetta comic. And um, yeah, it's also going to have this wraparound cover. Uh, also, you know, I like Frank Frazetta. He's, he's great. His art is great. His paintings are great. And uh, so, yeah, just like with Def Dealer, I'm going to take a shot if it's good or not. Um, my thoughts on Def Dealer is, uh, you know, if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I'm having big issues with that. So let's dive in. Um, the cast, I mean, uh, the one who was making um, these comics is uh, Jody Hauser, Eric Campbell, the writer, and Diego Japur and Dan McDaid uh, are the artists. And I believe Diego Japur did also Death Dealer and Exo Man of War. I just read that. So that could be it. <laughs> Not sure why I'm saying that, but hey, let's dive in. So, um, also, what I like about um, these kind of science fiction stories, you know, um, I grew up with 70s, 80s uh, science fiction stories, cartoons, movies, TV series, you know, scantily clad women, barbarians, and then also uh, high tech uh, fantasy stuff in there. Uh, I like that. So, we see here um, got this creature. Uh, killing the other creature, and then Dawn is here, and she says, that was mine. And she wants to shoot him, but then this weapon malfunctions, and then she's pulling her sword, and she's killing him and beheading him. And uh, yeah, also putting his head on a spike. The art, in my opinion, looks great, especially the colors, man. Who did the colors? Let me uh, double check. Colors, Carlos Cabrera and Felipe Sobrero, if I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, no, kudos to the coloring team. I really like that. I mean, look at this this colors on the face of her and then with the greens and the blues in the sky. Um, you know, and it's all hand-drawn except for this here. This is digitally, you know, it's been put in. But it's not intrusive, you know, like certain modern comics that I'm not going to talk about all the time. Um, but yeah, mostly just great art, lots of detail. And, um, you know, moving on, Don says to this guy, he's looking out, he says, uh, anything today, Tom? Nothing today, princess. Skies as clear as ever. Well, if not today, then very soon. I can feel it. He'll need us to be ready to guide the ship's approach for landing. Sure, princess. Any day now. So she goes into town and there's all these people, you know, that she's meeting and there's, you know, little girls singing and she knows the song too. And she brings the, her bounty to this guy and he says, uh, that all you could manage, princess? There were complications, he says. I head out again tomorrow. One hunter alone isn't going to bring the, the kind of meat we need. Might be taken to start taking a bigger party with you, if it's more of a risk. So, yeah, it seems that the town that she is, or this village, is uh, starvation problems. People are hungry all the time, uh, like this little kid. And, you know, you see us talking. Uh, so there's a, a giant shortage of food here. But there's still kids having fun, singing, you know, jumping ropes, etc. And then she's meeting with her lover called Ferris, I believe. Yes. And um, Ferris says, they never come this close to us before. I killed it before it found our camp, Ferris. You stopped the first drop of rain. But what happens uh, when the storm comes? If they're venturing this far from their territory, it's not their territory. Um... And he says, hey, I saw the blood on your boot. You use your sword again. I'm good with the sword. Amazing even. But you're even better with a blaster. It malfunctioned again, did it? So yeah, it seems that there's creatures coming closer and closer to the settlement. Uh, so that's got to be a big problem. Uh, so um, these lovers have a, you know, a little bit of a quarrel here. And um, he's afraid that people cannot defend themselves with swords. Um, if the barriers fall because they are so dependent on technology. But the technology is a little bit here and there. And um, she says, um, when my father returns, none of this will be a concern. Technologies, allies, wherever as we need, he'll find it. But Ferris says, it's been two years. We have made preparations in case, in case he doesn't come back, in case he doesn't come back in time. We need a plan, he says. Um, he says, I know you don't want this, you never have, but you're our leader, Don. Yeah, because he's a princess. Uh, so we have a flashback of a father training her, you know, talking about, you know, his story and, and, and teaching her lessons. 
And then one day he goes out and then he, um, well, probably this is not a father, probably I know, weapons master or something. Um, so then there's a sound and then, yeah, her father comes back from war and we have all these robots here and he's here looking at triumphant. And, and, and Don comes and, uh, hey, Papa, Papa. And he says, um, my little sunrise always managed to beat even your mother out here. Did you even get taller when I was uh, gone? Yes, so I need a bigger sword. <laughs> I laughed a little bit then. She said, not even out of the suit, and you already asked me for new weapons. What happened to, hello, father, I miss you. How did the battle go? And she said, why should I do that? <laughs> you always win. And then we go back to here. And um, yeah. Said, and so Farrah says, we don't know how much time we got. And um, she says, we may do until we claim our true home. So it's a little bit dragging on the story here and there. Um, so that's a little bit concerning, but, you know, not too much. Um, so they go to this girl called JC. She's probably, I don't know, inventor, tinkerer, technology person. And uh, she says, um, yeah, let me look at your weapon. And then she's, you know, looking at what's wrong. Well, uh, Don is then going through, I don't know, this part of this compound, this complex, this, um, I don't know what you, what you call it, garage, maybe. Um, Don looks great, but this panel looks a little bit weird. Like she is, I don't know, a giant, you know, walking through a town or compound or village, you know, looking for people to trample upon. I don't know. It just looks a little bit out of place, but could be me. Um, but then she found something. And she says, um, you found him? You know where? My father's army? And, um, but then Josie says, is it Josie? JC, I'm sorry. Uh, she says, I found it um, on a salvaging run. Uh, these, are, these are robot uh, arms, by the way. No sign of any other parts like it. Believe me, I really looked. I suspect it might from one of the at automatomations. Um, from the storm you both told me. That level, level of technology is so far beyond of the rest of the junk. And, um, and she talks about, you know, chips and computers. And then she says, um, Don says, how do you know about their ship computers? What have you been messing with, JC, says Ferris? A little side project, she says. And then he reveals there's some kind of a ship here that she's been tinkering with. And that she's, I don't know, maybe more or less didn't want to show to, uh, to these guys. And then, um, okay, so Ferris says, does it fly? If the old stories are true, it can a lot more uh, can do a lot more than that. There's something else. You need to see it. Uh, you need to see this, especially you, Don. Uh, so she says she's been tinkering with it and then um, explains that she has found the flight patterns of her father with his army. Um, but we don't see it because we only see a blue screen here, although I'm just looking directly at it. Uh, so, yeah, a little bit missing, you know, it's, it's a miss here uh, because the artist easily could have, you know, I don't know, um, black screen, dots, you know, blue lights, red lights, stuff like that. I don't know, just fill it with information that I can read about instead of telling me. Okay, um, so JC says, I know what you're thinking, love, but you've never flown anything like this before. It's far too dangerous. And Don says, more dangerous than ignoring our plight here, letting our people slowly starve to death. We don't know what he's found out there that could help us. Now, basically, she wants to go after him and find him. And, you know, Ferris is against that and says, hey, is that a good idea? And she says, we're not only finding our king, or well, that's what, that's what she's trying to find anyway, but also her father. And she says, hey, what would you do? to get your father back. And Ferris says, okay, you got a point there. So she speaks to the people uh, about what she's found and that she's, you know, probably taking off to the stars, um, you know, and because of, you know, the food shortage and the enemy at the door. And she says, we need our king. And all these people says, yeah, yeah, let's bring him back. And Ferris is going to take over while she is going away. And then uh, she's getting, a, 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 you know, some lovey-dovey here and uh, a farewell from the people. And, um, and Ferris is a little bit concerned. She says, um, if you have any second thoughts and um, can she fly this thing and, and et cetera. And uh, she says, I will return. I promise. 
So she um, takes off. Like I said, the art looks great, in my opinion. It looks good. And then she is, you know, for the first time in her whole life outside of the planet. But, uh, and then she's doing some bleep bleep here. And then um, jumping, you know, star jumping, or whatever. I'm on my way, Father, wherever you are. I'll find you. And that, you know, is this for this issue for now. Um, and then we have some covers here. Well, this is in the next issue. Uh, covers from this issue. I especially like this one. This is a good, good looking piece of art here. Um, and, you know, this is my cover, which I like. I like Rosetta, like I said many times. Um, great stuff. Yeah. So is it good? Um, that's hard to say. Let's say I like the art. I, like I said before, um, the story can be intriguing, but for me, it's going a little bit too fast. I mean, uh, we have the enemy, and I'm assuming it's these guys. You know, these these. You know, how do you say? Um, Backwards-looking uh, monkey people, um, savages. And we have the whole starvation thing going on. Um, then we have um, people in need and her concern for her father, which is cool. But then, I don't know, um, her weapons doesn't work. And so she needs uh, a scientist girl to fix that. And the scientist girl is probably the only one who can, can do it, which is a little bit weird. But I maybe it's a small town. I don't know. And then accidentally, she's just find a piece of the part that um, Jose or JC never told her about for reasons. And, and there's also a ship. And then they let her go alone on that ship instead of, you know, maybe send some people with her, you know, just in case she is, you know, going out of side of the atmosphere and something happens. And also she punches in the coordinates and knows how to fly this thing. Um, yeah, that's a little bit concerning. Why not taking it slower, you know, see the enemy more, more, how do you, uh, more conflict maybe with the enemy or uh, maybe internal struggles about, you know, people being fed of starvation, you know, uh, revolting maybe and her trying to make, you know, amends or peace or try to help them somehow. Um, also, maybe show how she's handling these ships, you know, maybe um, um, a trial, you know, flying in the air, figuring out controls, you know, show us that instead of, hey, there's a ship that I've never flown, but immediately I know how to handle these, these, these controls. You know, um, like here. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. So there's intrigue here, but um, I think it's going a little bit too fast. Guys, let me know what you think about this comic and this, this particular story here. Uh, I ordered issue two because, you know, I wanted to take it a chance. If, you know, if it's not, then I'm going to drop it. Uh, I dropped already uh, uh, Death Dealer. The ones that I have, I'm going to review uh, unless there is something that is really interesting for me, I'm not going to buy the new ones too because, well, my patience is, you know, I can, it's, it's growing a little bit thin with that, with that comic uh, particular series. So let's hope Dawn Attack will be better. Guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.